Hello and welcome everyone to our another episode of core data services that is CDS views in ABAP. So in the previous session we saw how we can consume our CDS view in ABAP program. Now this is our fourth episode of CDS views. So in this part we are going to see creating CDS views uh, based on the input based on the input given by the user given by the user or better we should write it using single parameter that we will take from the user right so creating our CDS view based on the single parameter okay so we can take input we can take input from the user in CDS views we can take input from the user in CDS views okay and what you are going to see here is dollar parameters keyword is used to is used to refer to the parameter name whatever parameter that you are going to take from the user you can use the dollar parameters keyword to refer to that particular parameter while writing the logic in case of your CDS views okay so I will take a simple requirement here and I will take a simple requirement requirement to implement this concept I am going to simply take a single simple requirement the requirement is display the display the sales order details order details from VBAK table based on the input for sales document number sales document number given by the user given by the user based on the input for the sales document number given by the user okay so I will first open my SAP logon and I will check the fields first I will open my SAP logon I will open the VBAK table okay sorry AC11 and I will open the VBAK table display So this is my VBAK table. I will take fields from it and I will create my CDS view based on the parameter. So either you can go for right click on the package, go for new other web repository object or you can directly right click on the core data services folder also. Both will work in the same way. So I'll go for core data services and I'll go for data definition. Next. I will give the name of the CDS so CDS view 2 and I will name it taking input as a parameter from the user ok go for next button select the transport request go for next now again we will select our template lots of template are there we will see them one by one earlier we had a template for uh, our parameters also but we will have to now define it in our normal view because it has been removed from the previous versions in the updated version it has been removed okay so I am going to simply pass here so taking input as a parameter from the user I will add it taking input as a parameter okay now we will pass our here SQL view name for that a corresponding DDIC view will be created and we can check that from SE11 also right so I will give here a view name uh, Z what is the view we had given for our earlier let's check that we had given Z DDIC view 01 so we will just make it 2 come back and I will make it 2 okay ddic2 perfect i will pass here data source as my vbak table okay now in this vbak data source what i will do is 
I will simply take the parameters. So define your CDS view and define your CDS view and in between we will use with parameters. So with parameters. Okay. With parameters. Now give the name for your parameter. So our primary key is your sales document number which is VBELN. I will pass here the primary key P V B E L N and its data element also. So its data type is V B L N underscore V A. I will copy it and I will paste it here. Okay. This is going to be my input which user will pass. Now I will select the fields here. So key fields, key fields here, key fields V B E L N key is my VBLN. I will display it as I will give alias sales document number. Then I will go for another field and it's uh, another field ERDAT. So creation date ERDAT as creation date. Then I will go for ERZDT as time uh, er, 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 er num as username and vbtyp as document category document category okay these are the five fields that i'm fetching it out you can take any number of fields they all are in order inside the table they all are in order i'm just using them now inside here I will use the where condition so where VBELN is equal to my dollar parameters so what is my parameter here my parameter here is PVBELN and we have already seen in the introduction part that dollar parameters is used to refer to our parameter okay so I will simply use here dollar parameters dot our parameter name so p v b l n copy it and paste it here p v b l n copy it and paste it here this preserve key is not mandatory this annotation we don't need it you can simply if you don't want you can remove it this is my normal cds view with a single parameter that i am taking from the user and based on the parameter we are going to fetch all these five columns okay so i will right click and I will go for activate button. So activating object activated. Let's check our object. So I'll go for open with data preview and I will pass input for my PVBLN. So let me check my table content execute. I will copy this one record here. and I will pass it as a input here okay go for open data preview see here first record is coming sales document number creation date time username and document category okay this is getting displayed here so based on the input that you are passing the same data will be displayed now based on the input that you are passing let's go for the next one open with data preview now I will go for next thing so I'll pass the 002 here so second record will be displayed now whatever input you will pass only that data is going to be fetched so here our CDS view we can change we can, we can write any kind of logic based on our requirement so now let's go and check our corresponding DDIC view has been created let's go and pass it go back to SE11 view radio button and pass it here display it see here generated ddl skill views are only supported in limited weight by ac11 you can see now the field name has been changed to the aliases that we have passed and their corresponding and field name we can see also the data elements is being used here okay now the question here is can we see a very important question can we see our CDS views from SE11.
can we see our cds views the logic that we have written here can we see them from ac11 the answer is yes we can see them from ac11 also just pass the name of just pass the name of cds views in data type section data type radio button and open it and open it you will find out the same thing so i will check i will simply copy the cds view name this is my cds view i will copy its name and i will go to ac11 and in the data type radio button i will pass it and i will go for display button see here this is my data definition taking input as a parameter from the user standard of app language go for content section and you will find out the data definition of your cds view see everything in the same format that you have passed everything in the same format that you have passed but if you will try to change it if you will try to change it from here you can see this is already disabled this is already disabled it cannot be changed from here and if you will try to open it in change format you will get here a information message see here a success message that use edit tool in eclipse to change data definition use edit tool in eclipse to change the data definition of your cds view so it cannot be changed from your sc11 okay so this is how we can create our cds view for for it a single parameter from the user okay so thank you very much for watching we will continue from next part